Today is Tuesday, July 14th, 2015. Um, not sure how all this works anymore, but I think I remember. Um, I am currently 252.4 and I have 1cc in my Allergan band, I think. <laughs> um, I was banded on <laughs> July, no wait, June, June 1st, 2011, June 1st. Um, and this is the fattest I've been since 2011. Hmm. Now that that's out of the way, I am really upset that I'm here, but I recognize that it's me. And of course, this is going to be my like 10 millionth time that I want to get on a diet. Um, whatever, but let's do this. Let's, let's go. Um, I don't have a choice. I feel like I have to do this. I gotta do this. I can't not do this. Um, so I, um, last November I had hit Wonderland again. Okay. Let me tra track, track back. Let's, let's talk about all this into history. Um, okay. Banded 2011, June, 2011. My lowest weight was in November of 2012 when I was 180. Um, I was a size 6. Felt good. Um, I um, Then I just trekked up right after November to um, 215 in January. Um, so... I have been going between 215 and 230 for about a couple of years, I guess. Um, sometimes, no, no, that's it, yeah. Um, then, me and my long-term boyfriend broke up in June of 2014. Um, and I was very upset about it naturally and we had been together for almost three years and um so I didn't eat <laughs> um and so I lost about let's say 20 pounds in like three weeks <laughs> it was terrible very unhealthy um and then probably around August of 2014 I joined CrossFit and that was the best thing I've ever done um, in life, other than probably maybe getting a lap band. I'm not, I'm not so sure about. That's another story. <laughs> um, I um, then I my body kind of morphed, I would say, and then I was down to um, down to. I made it back to Wonderland that November. Um, and then November I started seeing this guy um, who is now my boyfriend. And then probably around, well, I've, I had, so during that time I had 2.6 cc's in my band. We had been working to get me up like very, very slowly. Um, because uh, for some reason my band reacts differently and I can only go up like 0 0.3, 0 0.5. I can't go up 1.5, 2. I can't, can't do that. Um, that causes like my band to slip or to like get, you know, that shit. <laughs> and um, dilate, dilate. Um, and then... Probably, I think, yeah, in December, I went from 1.6 to 2.6, like, really fast, you know, like, just one, because I was, and for some reason, I was like, yeah, let's do it, like, I guess I wanted more restriction, and I had hit kind of a little bit of plateau, like, I kept going 199, 205, 199, 205, and it was kind of getting, like, really, you know, it's getting to my head. 
because I was like, I'm after you size six pants, I need you in my life. Um, anyway, I uh, then I didn't make an appointment for January because I had been making the appointments. This is really dumb, but I had been making the appointments for the first week of every month, and the first week of that month just happened to fall on my birthday week, and I was like, no, I don't need to be on liquids on my birthday. That's weird. No, I'm gonna... I'm still 20s, in my 20s. I need to have fun. I didn't, I didn't end up doing much fun, but <laughs> I so I didn't go. And then I just never made an appointment. And like from December on, like my weight was just creeping up, creeping up, creeping up. And now here is where I am at 252. And actually this is not my highest weight. I was at 256. Whew. A lot, a lot of mouth words there. So, yeah. Sorry, phone, annoying. Um, okay, so currently, currently I am at 1.0 cc's, did I say that before? I'm not sure. Um, so I'm at 1.0 because, so around May I had been noticing that like I had been throwing up more or throwing up in general I should say because I'm not really a thrower upper. I've never been one, even when my pouch has been dilated before, I just, that's just not one of my symptoms. Usually it's heartburn, yeah, just heartburn. Um, this time I was experiencing heartburn and regurgitating or whatever you want to call it, PB. That's all coming back to me. Um, and, um... So, I made an appointment, but they didn't have openings until July. <laughs> and there's only one clinic from where I, you know, the, we have two clinics in Houston. But I guess when I called, they're like, oh, this location no longer offers vivarium swallows, the x-rays or whatever. We've moved locations, obviously, since the last freaking appointment I had made was in December. Um, so, I'm like, dang, I have to go all the way to downtown, like, the medical center. And, yeah, I, maybe I should have said, hey, I'm having some issues with my band. But I was like, whatever. They're probably going to give me, like, an appointment in the middle of the day. You know, sometimes I think, like, out of convenience, not out of reason. Anyway. I, um, I went, it was last week, I think the 6th, yeah, the 6th, and so I, um, they did a barium swallow, and at my office they have, like, a diagram, A is ideal, then there's B, C, D, maybe E, I'm not sure, um, but A is, A is ideal, um, where your band should be positioned like at an angle and your stoma should not be, you know, stretched or anything. Um, the nurse or whatever they are, I'm not, you know, I'm not even sure what they are. I want to say that maybe they're like medical assistants. You know, I have no idea. And maybe I should find that out. Um, but anyway, she said that I was at a B. And she's like, oh, it's not that bad. Mm, for my previous experience, which is when, like, well, I've, I've been dilated many times before. Um, There's, like, this hook. And I know, like, the chick that, like, whenever I got that hook thing, she was like, whenever you dilate again, you will always get this hook. Which is funny. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. So it's like a... Like the pouch is enlarged, not this large, but it's like a U shape and then off to the side there's like a hook. And it is, I guess it's kind of like overlaps the stomach. And she, well, so the, and the, the girl that couldn't find my port again. 
well, not her again, but nobody can find my port. Um, she said, oh, you're not that bad. I'm just going to take out 1.6 out of your band. So I was like, okay, cool. I had been there for like two hours already, so I was kind of over it. And so she couldn't find my, she couldn't find my port or she couldn't get in there. I have no clue. And so she brought another girl in and she found it and took out 1.6 cc's. Then she was like, okay, bye. See you later. You know, I was kind of confused because usually whenever they take some out, um, they redo the barium swallow to see if your pouch has gone back to normal. Well, she didn't. And I had been there so long that I didn't care. So I left. Well, I still have heartburn. Um, and so I should probably call again. Um, yeah, should probably, should probably call. Um, but I'm just like so over the aftercare I, and I've said this many times before I hate it um anyway so currently at 1.0 um I've last week I was just kind of like meh I was I was on liquids but not really and wasn't really taking it too seriously and I was like, mm, it could be worse. But this is worse. <laughs> this is worse. Um, I'm at the highest weight. I've been in four years. Four? Four. Yeah. Um, anyway, so uh, last night I was feeling all pathetic and stuff because here is my fat bin. So I have my fat clothes here, um, and I have not been in here in a long, long time. I moved into my house two years ago, and it's been in this bin two years. Um, and it's like my fat clothes. Like, like I can bet you this doesn't even fit me. Like, it, it's my fat clothes, but it probably doesn't even fit me. Um, like, all my torrid stuff and... All that other jazz you know it's it's in here um, I kept the cutest stuff but I gave like the rest of the rest of it to whatever goodwill or something um, but I kept the cute stuff not sure why I never really planned on being here again <laughs> um, I'm not sure if I'll post another video but um, yes I am trying to eat healthy and yes, I'm trying to remember all the lap band rules. <laughs> and I am weighing my food and I am planning. I'm meal planning. And it's, uh, I would have to say that eating on a, on my previous um, lap band diet, I don't think I would survive CrossFit. So I'm eating like, a, I guess I'm, the amount of calories have to like go way up. Like, like 1.5, I would say. Like, I was, I used to be eating like, like a pigeon, like a bird. <laughs> and, um, I tried doing that the other day, last week, and I nearly died. I nearly died at CrossFit. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, it is definitely the lap band diet is not really something that is. I don't know, something for like that kind of type of working out. Or maybe I was dying because I'm fat. I don't fucking know. But I did creep up the calories. And today I didn't die so much. So much. But I was done. Like I came home and then I started uh, cutting the grass and I was winded. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. I think I will probably only make a video if, like, I lose weight. That's probably the only way. It's pretty vain. But this is going to go up, okay? This is going to go up, and I'll stop rambling now. And this will be, be the end. <laughs>